hours part of my job. Probably keeping everyone on task while juggling all the emails and answering all the questions without making anybody mad at you in the process. It's true, it is tough. There's a lot of things to juggle throughout the course of the day. You have to try to figure out what your priorities are, what the main focus is, and above all, keep your eye on everything at a higher level to make sure that we're not going to miss any of our goals. So what do you appreciate about the management staff the most? Um, that everyone's super patient with me, keeping me on task and answering all the questions that I have when I do run into problems. Um, everybody just staying really nice and focused and happy throughout the day, not getting frustrated and taking it out on us makes it really easy. So if you were in my position, what's one thing that you would do differently? Um, I'd focus a lot more on coaching, but not only coaching, just everyone, just mainly focusing on people who are struggling with things that they um, have a lot of questions about, things that they are having trouble with, um, trying to get those people at the highest percentage they can be at so that they make the most money possible, um, just trying to keep everyone who needs help the most focused, and then everybody who's you know kind of got a handle on what they, they're doing, just keeping them on check so they're you know, they know what they're doing wrong on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I, I agree. Um, I wish that we had more hours in the day to coach. Unfortunately, uh, with the other responsibilities that we have, our time is somewhat limited. Um, we pick and choose the times that we're able to do it only because of the other tasks that come up throughout the day. Um, in the perfect world, we'd like to coach, you know, everybody quite a bit more often. Uh, we are on a rotating schedule now where everybody will get at least one coaching per month, which doesn't seem like a lot, but at least even the top performer versus the what you would think of as the lowest performer um, does get some attention. So that would be a thing that all of us could improve on, definitely. Time management and allowing more time to coach. So, Tammy, what do you think is the hardest part of being a conversational marketing expert? I think it's difficult, definitely, for you to come in each and every day with a positive attitude, try to leave everything that's going on in the outside world outside, concentrate on your job. We know that there are many days and many times that that's the last place that you would like to be. Um, but being positive, remaining positive, I know is a challenge for everybody all the time. Uh, for me, as much as it is for you, we like to keep the atmosphere as positive as possible on the floor, knowing that sometimes you're dealing with difficult people on the other end of the phone. So the positivity factor, I know it's very difficult day in, day out, get yourself kind of geared up for here I am in for a long shift, I got to make this happen, let me put myself in the mindset to grind it out. I think keeping the hardest part about being a conversational marketing expert is just uh, staying on task, making sure that you keep you know, you keep going through the calls, going through the motion. It gets kind of repetitive sometimes, but you just got to make sure that you're not sitting after call work or, you know, getting off track, sidetracked on something else. Uh, just focusing on your goals and staying at those goals um, so you can do better the company and better yourself. So what do you appreciate about your team the most? Breaking into teams has been an awesome experience for us. It's allowed us to grow more individually, allowed for some personal bonding, some friendships to develop, some people to rely on each other, um, develop some, um, okay, this person's good at this, maybe I'll rely on them to do that. It helps us out because when we don't have the time to coach as much as we'd like, there are other team members which we're able to call on to step in to help us out by answering questions, maybe providing a few words of encouragement, motivation. It keeps it very competitive throughout the center. Um, we can challenge people to a game or to a contest and give away some prizes, but keeps everybody a little bit more motivated and back to the positivity factor of keeping everybody on task, but at the same time, keeping the environment as light and cheery as possible. As a supervisor, is the saying true that it's easier to teach than do? I'd say definitely yes. In some circumstances, it is de easier to teach than do. Uh, there are certain things that we'd like to look at at a higher level and explain to you, well, this is why you need to do it, but maybe not give you all the details behind it. So sometimes we have to take a step back and remember that maybe it would make more sense to you for me to tell you this is how I got this answer, not, well, this is how I want you to do it, just do it and go on to the next question. 
thinking that, well, she doesn't know what she's talking about. You know, that's not how I'm supposed to do it. But maybe, in my mind, I'm two or three steps ahead and have already said, well, I need you to do it this way because it's going to get us to the next level. So I'd say yes. In that regard, it's definitely sometimes easier for me to tell you how to do something than to explain you all the whys, how fours, and everything in between.